right, let's get this out of the box. All right, so I got it all unpacked. We've got the bucket here, heavy duty plastic, all the framework, the hardware, tires, pulse, handle, and directions. The hardware comes in one of these packages where it's labeled on the back side and you just punch them out and grab each from its own little compartment. So the only tools we will need to put this together are some wrenches or an adjustable wrench and possibly a screwdriver, just whatever you need to tighten these down. And then we have the instructions here. They look easy enough to follow. First, we start with the piece number two, which is the largest frame. We're gonna line it up with the holes. We're gonna be using A, B, and C for this. I recommend starting with the sides first, and then that'll hold it in place. All right, now we can do the rest. So these bolts do have a plastic inset, so you cannot tighten it all the way down with your fingers. It will require some tools to get it all the way tight. I'll tighten those in a minute. Okay, so step two, we're gonna put the locking mechanism and we're gonna use the same bolts, A, B, and C, bolts, washers, and nuts. So there's two on the top and then two on the end. All right, now at this point, the directions tell us to tighten all of the bolts we've done so far. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tighten these up using just this half inch socket and a screwdriver on the underside to hold the bolt in place. If you have a, a drill with a half inch socket, you can attach, that'd be obviously much quicker. But if you have just a wrench, half inch wrench, that'll get the job done. Okay, our next step, we're gonna uh, put on the fitted tray bracket. It's going right here. And this just uses the D bolt and then the same B and C washer and nut. So these bolts do not have a screwdriver ending, so we're gonna use two wrenches. All right, so this is the beginning of the uh, dumping mechanism. Now we're gonna put the axle pieces on. Now we're gonna do the rear axle first. So we're gonna fasten this on the back. For this, we're using F, J, and K, and these are much larger. So to get this on, looks like we're gonna need to um, lift this up with the bolts in first. And we're gonna slide this into the holes, two washers, then tighten down the nuts. The next step is to fit the front axle with the yoke. So we're gonna do this with the two bolts, washers, and nuts. Step six, we're going to put the front axle. This slides into the prefabricated bolt here. We're gonna put this washer and nut and to tighten it down. Okay, that's tight. That swings freely. In the next step, we are going to attach all four wheels using a washer and a pin on each wheel. Wheel goes first wheel then the washer and then you can see there's a hole there for the pin you just stick that through then we're going to use pliers to bend the end to keep the pins from falling out All right, we're on our final step. We're going to attach the handle, the final large bolt here. All set. Let's flip it over. It wasn't all that complicated to put together, but it did require a little elbow grease. All in all, I'd say it would take... Um, anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes to put this together, depending on how handy you are. Once it's together, looks like it will last long, long, long time. I would say for putting it together, I think the easiest tools to use would be an adjustable wrench because there's different size bolts to use. Some of them are quite large and you might not have it in a basic socket or wrench set. If you have a drill that has socket fittings on it, that will make your job a lot easier. There's a lot of hand tightening to do on this. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.